injured here, 1v1, Caldera Safari, blue side. It's Man of Faith, also known as Tex, playing a Lord General fights range combat begins with a retinue of stormtroopers to help him out can add to this retinue throughout the game. Really strong defense and support. This is the Mordian Iron Guard elite scheme. Red side, it's Fear as a Raven Alpha range commander by default but can get to melee weapons, some strong offense, bit of support and awesome mobility in that he can build tunnels and stuff. And there's one of them right now, his old army can use these. And we might see some up this east side, going for this power pretty soon. And of Faith, or rather Tex, straight into some more Guardsmen. After this, Sentinel came onto the field and Fear, as expected, with double Termigants. Now, you'd expect Tex to go for another Sentinel against Tyranids, though one or both of the players may have gone random for this, you don't know. So they might not necessarily know what they're up against, but as soon as he knows for sure that he's up against Tyranids, you'd expect another Sentinel. And it might be tough for Fear. Another Sentinel up, he could kind of lock down this eastern side, protect his power with them, rebuff attacks, and then push forward and uh, decap stuff. Fear going for Spore Mines, which you'd perhaps not expect against Imperial Guard with Sentinel, maybe maybe two of them. Not exactly a target-rich environment though, sending them in amongst the Guardsmen is going to be very scary for these guys. Yeah, Fear just comes over here to fight, doesn't want to let that Sentinel freely run up and decap the wreck point or anything. Double Termigans. If they had their Toxin Sacks, they'd be putting out a hell of a lot of damage here with the Raven Alpha, but in their default state, they're reasonably comfortably repairing here. They would have to move back a little bit. There we go. Spore Mines are lurking. Tex has seen them, I think. This is going to force the at least the Guardsmen to flee. And the Sentinel is taking quite a lot of damage here. Hormagaunts have found a Lord General trying to eat his legs off and Guardsmen getting shots in to try and support. Tex pushed back. And um, is he not going for another Sentinel? Not yet. Straight into some Warrior Brood for Fury. Might go for um, Barb Strangler to really put pressure on the Guardsmen and try and control their movement a bit. Spawn Mines are going to be shot down without doing a whole lot. Did get one detonation off there. You saw those Guardsmen get... Um, Suppressed. Here's a tunnel right outside the power. Can he get down the node? He might be able to. After that, though, the Sentinels can just walk over those tunnels to destroy them. Here's the Warrior Brood able to get straight into the front lines using that tunnel all the way from base. See how powerful those things can be. These guys have 18 DPS power melee weapons. And they act as detectors, as you can see. Leap into combat as well, which gives them some a really nice added bonus early on with their melee attacks. There's that leap, knocking stuff all over the gaff and um, getting stuck into that Lord General. Here's the second Sentinel. This one does have the ground pound and there it is. Do they both have it? They do. Gives them a hundred more hit points and the um, ground pound ability as you saw on those warriors. And we do see Barb Stranglers. They do still retain pretty decent um, melee damage I believe. As you can see, still wailing on this Lord General, fighting back with his sword there, but loses both of his retinue models. Although the Warrior Brood are persuaded to leave without dropping a model themselves, though, and the Sentinel can now run over that tunnel. And during all of that, what were the Hormagons doing? I didn't see. They're back at base now, which seems a bit odd. I guess they got shot off by the um, Guardsmen. If Tex can establish dominance on this east side, they might be able to get one of the Guardsmen to get some Flamers going and go for a Power Bash maybe, especially if he does get another unit on top of this. He might get some Catechins up or something. But I suspect he's going to go straight into Tier 2 from here. We'll see. Stomps on retreat for the Hormagor. It's doing some serious damage. Knockback. I think it's around 30 damage it does. And then a stun and a knockback. I'm not sure what kind of damage it is. I guess melee. Still no Toxin Sacks for the Termigants. In fact, they're on the way right now. Allows them to use Crippling Poison, which is pretty awesome. And improves damage and health. Kind of an all-encompassing upgrade. Pretty much a no-brainer to get it. What's going on west side? Guardsmen just milling around. Going to cap this, fellas? There we go. They do have their Sergeant, I think. Yep, up to nine models will reinforce two at a time. But Tex, so far, happy to try and keep this east side locked down. He can node this power as well and look after it a bit. Oh, 
burrow traps going up for the Ravana Alpha. They do quite a lot of damage, I think. Yeah, 150 explosive damage with a knockback and a stun. That could be pretty mental. Mines have always been in a little bit of a weird place in that if your enemy gets a detector unit, they become far, far less useful. There's another burrow trap going up, so we might see Tex going for a um, Catastrophe Squad. He, and he, indeed he is. He hasn't seen the mines yet, but if he just selects the Ravana, you can tell what war gear the enemy hero has. So I'm going to push him forward alongside that Sentinel. Alongside that Ravener, I should say. And he's going to shoot at the the Sentinel itself, in fact. Tex needs to do some repairs. There we go. Double repairs going in. Is it enough to out-repair the damage, though? Looks like it is. Termigrants are dropping models, I believe. Yep, down to six and four. And here come some warriors now. Can suppress and hit both of those guards and maybe... Nope, started moving just in time. Only one of them got hit and only a few models at that. 498 to 327 early on, 2 to 1 for Tex. And Catachans are on the field. Shooting at some Hormagons here who did decap. Is he now going to get Flame of Guardsmen? I mean, Catachans can't repair, but it does add some weight to his army over here. It might be Catachans that go for a bash. Hormagons down to 5 models, but they're alright. All of the Tyrion is back at base now. So you can barge forward, breaking stuff, and uh, decap that fully matured right point. Another fully matured right here. Warriors are lying in wait. Catachins moving forward. They can see these mines. Easily targetable. And very easy to spot once you've got a detector around. Double turning guns moving back up. Garzman will drop models pretty damn quickly to this. He's not firing though. He's still moving forward. There we go. Started firing a little bit late. I guess he was looking at his warriors. Shooting at those catechons. But they missed that. Tier 2 for both players. Tex in the stronger position. He could drop a turret over here. And that would be a bit of a pain in the ass. Because you expect uh, fear to go for the zone throat. And if a turret drops with its vehicle armor. He's going to need to get a tyrant guard or venom brood or something up. 498 to 276. And uh, Tex can then follow up with Stormtroopers and outshoot those things. Hormagants have found a Lord General. Do they have? They don't have their Adrenal Glands, but they're still doing a pretty good job over there. So hits tier 2 now. Does he drop a turret somewhere? There it is. Might snipe a um, Warrior Brood model with it immediately if Fear doesn't realise. There it is. Boom! Ah, oh, did not take a model though. They get away with around 120 hit points on two models. These guys could do with some reinforcement. In fact, these this squad is getting the Commissar Leader. Allows them to reinforce three at a time, takes them up to 12 models. Zonethrope is hitting the field for fear. Got a lot of changes, of course, in 2.5. The Focus Warp Blast no longer snares vehicles, which is a pretty big deal. Does a bit more damage though, I think. 150-ish. Something like that. Maybe it's a bit more. So he can use that against the turret, but he's going to need Venom Brood as well, you would think. Unless he just flanks around and shoots it that way. Do these things have 360? They might just have 360 rotation effect. I think they do. Although they won't shoot at stuff that's in within the minimum range. Well, that's pretty damn close. Don't think he can get his entire army in there safely to shoot at it. Raffin Alpha runs away. Here come the Venom Brood. Now does he kind of... No he does not. I thought he would maybe try and run up the west side a little bit. Try and split Texas army. But he's going all in on this east side. And now one Sentinel has a missile launch. You see those frag missiles firing in. Barb Trangler does get a shot followed up by a zone throw patrol. That was pretty nasty on those catechons. If these guys blob up. They can be incredibly vulnerable to any AoE. You just saw it there. If you had one more zone throw around taking a shot, that would have been a dead squad, I think. But here's the Venom Brood, and they are getting their ranged synapse, which will boost the health and damage of these Termigants. I think it's 35% more damage. Or is that... Yeah, 
Yeah, I think so. 35% more watts. 25% more health and 35% more damage. There you go. And it is, as you can see, improves slightly as they level up. Tex happy to sit by his turret with a 2 to 1 cap here. It's up to fear to find a way around and in. Don't think he wants to attack from there. It's hard to split. Can be hard to split when you're turning. You want everything close together because of the synapse, of course. Boom. Bunch of guards on dying net. Down to six models. Maybe he'll drop a bunker of some kind. All of those missiles hitting terrain. Zone throw. Getting really far in enemy territory here. The turret hits the rain. Zone throw does have its shield up. You see the basic attack doing barely anything with its psychic PvP damage, which has a very low multiplayer against vehicles. But the turret is going to go down. Venom Brood making very short work of it with a little bit of support there. Down it goes. Kept no bay for a little while. Here comes a Lord General. He's got the Commissar Retinue Embo, who is pretty decent in combat. And also gives him this handy shield, which I believe is 55% less range damage. Was more than that in um, retail, I think. 498 to 147. It's a 2 to 1 cap for Tex. And a hell of a lot of VPs to make up for fear. He's applying pressure now, though. If you can just get these sen Sentinels the hell out of it. With double missile launchers, that is painful. Although he's targeting the Raven Alpha, which is a bit weird. Should be targeting the Warrior Brood, surely. Or the Venom Brood, indeed. Just get those Synapse Backlashes going. Can't quite get a model yet. Sentinel's getting very, very low. Needs to back them the hell out of there. Down goes one. Stayed in that engagement a little bit too long. And this is a really good passage of play for Fear. Does drop a Warrior Brood model. These guys now are going into melee combat. And we see Plasma Gun Guardsmen. Only one so far though, but as you can see, really putting damage on this this heavy infantry Tyranid models. In fact, wiped out the uh, Barb Strangle Warriors there, so... Fear sticking in the engagement a bit too long there as well. Double zone throats coming out, it's going to be really bad news for the Guardsmen. Seen the damage they've done already, this just one here. How much, look at how little XP it's got though, despite killing a bunch of models. I guess it hasn't done all of the damage. The XP you get is tied to the amount of damage you do when killing the unit, I believe. I'm not sure how long that persists for. If you do damage to a unit five and then five minutes later it dies, do you still get XP? I think you do. Must be some kind of diminishing returns there. Here comes the second zone throat. That's gonna be a nasty burst of artillery fire. And that um, health regen synapse, of course. So it doesn't stack though. Although they are affecting each other with it, as you can see. 2 to 1 cap, 498 to 80. A massive VP deficit for fear to make up. Hormagon's trying desperately to get the decap on Texas Natural. Looks like they're going to get a decap at least here. In fact, he's not even contesting it any longer. Tex has got bigger problems to deal with. Double zone throws, Venom Brood with Rain Synapse on Termigants. Catachun is disrupting things. Hormagons are going to wipe if they're not careful. Ouch. Catachun's leveling up, but those zone tropes are going ballistic, shooting the crap out of stuff. Tex dropping a Guardsman squad. In fact, look at all these bodies now. Hormagons did wipe. But all in all, a good little push from Fear can take control of the center. Shoot down that bunker. There we go. And now Tex needs to respond with something. What does he get here? Ogrins are going to be crippled by the Termigants. Maybe double um, Assault Kit Stormtroopers to shoot down those zone throats from long range with the Sniper Rifle. It's a no cap game. Lord General on capping duty here using that Commissar Shield. But um, it's forced to back away after getting a decap. Termigants capping mid. What does he go for? He does go for a Stormtrooper squad. Could have gone tier 3 there. But I don't think that would have benefited him greatly. With Venom Brood and Double Zone Throat, so even a Lehman Russ is going to get shot down, I believe. Especially with the Raven Alpha using his Corrosive Devourer now. Awesome ranged weapon. And, oh, Synapse Aura for damage. Allied Tyranid, so even um, Synapse creatures are going to get that buff, I guess. Does that buff apply to Carnifexes? 
Allied 200 units, it says. That's pretty scary. The Barb Shango Kwan effects, for example. What's this Lord General up to? Just distracting fear here. But um, it's not going to be good for him. Yeah, he has to run away. Zonethrope's guarding the mid. Here come some Stormtroopers infiltrated. Don't have the Assault Kit quite yet. He wants his double Stormtroopers up first. Lord General's still running away. Fear trying to spread out and cap a little bit here, I think. That Sentinel stood around and Tier 3 for Fear. He's got a decent amount of resources going into Tier 3 as well. Might be able to get a kind effects by the time he gets there. It's going to be bad news for um, Man of Faith. Tex. Look at the damage now on this Sentinel. Holy crap. These don't even have Endless Swarm either. Up to 10 models they could be, potentially. Bastion Power, maybe here come the double Assault Kit Stormtroopers. What can they do with their first burst? Zone Thropes do have their shields up. Boom, there it is. That was nasty. Took down the shield immediately. But they can't quite finish it off. I think one more burst after that one would have killed this Zone Throat. Does he just get more Stormtroopers up? Would that be worth it? I think the, the Sniper Raffle surely is worth it. Dip forward with the Sentinel to try and spot things. The Catachins also went down. I don't think I spotted that at the time. I'm guessing it was the Zone Thropes. Have they got? Have they leveled up yet? Almost level three this one, and this one's almost level two. Four one four seventy three. Fear applying pressure as he needs to do, and a Carnifex is on the way. Really bad news for Tex. I mean, he has anti-vehicle missiles from the Sentinel, the crack missiles. But um, that's about it. Could get a las cannon going, I guess, with the refractor field up. Stand the general beside it so that it's got even more protection. I assume those two shields will kind of stack with each other in some way. Maybe not additively. Uh oh, turn of formation. Knocks the Lord General flying. Ouch. Holy crap, Stormtrooper's getting hit too. Didn't actually drop a model. Down to 50 hit points with five models. Perfectly split between them. And Con Effects will hit the field and you're. You've got to assume it's going to have a barbed strangler or they might get super aggressive and go thorn back. Just charge into stuff. Stormtroopers trying to find those zone tropes isolated, I guess. Although this is only one squad now. Grenade. Try and follow it up with some shooting. Nicely done. Didn't quite hit flush the grenade. Didn't seem to. And he's running away before he takes those shots. 399 to 66. Tex has the 2 to 1. But is the Carnifex again going to really swing this for fit? Here comes some Ogrins. Going to try and make it past the Crippling Poison Wall. And if the Carnifex does get a ranged weapon and it does get a ranged weapon, the Venom Cannon, then the Ogrins can go in and tie up, make sure it doesn't fire that thing. Ogrins dropping in now, there they are. Heavy melee squad with super heavy infantry armor get up to around about 1800 hit points when they get their Bone Adido, which they are getting. Very rarely you see them without their bonehead leader. Which makes them a pretty expensive squad. Can do a lot for you though. Here is Fear controlling the mid with Synapse Towers all over the gaff. Capillary Towers, whatever they're called. Kind effects. Oh, actually gets the Barb Strangler. Where are those Ogrins? Oh, they're over here. Fear has spotted them. And those Zone Throats will do a hell of a lot of damage to those Ogrins. Look at that, already! Like a quarter of their health gone. 3 at 1 to 56. Fear keeping the pressure up. Tex, at the time of recording, was 8th in the um, ESL ladder. You can check it out at donovwater.info. And Fear, I believe, was like 47 or something. Although he's played very few games. Has probably helped his rating a hell of a lot. Alpha and Alpha now getting the decap on Texas Natural, and Ogrins have moved all the way up to, I guess, decap this wreck point, uh, the VP, I mean. I said they're going to try to, but Fear using the speed buff of the towers there, as you can see. Coming back to intercept. Sentinel's done well up to level 3. That engagement in the mid, though, really wrecked Tex with those zone throbs going ballistic. 
Trying to shoot at the Ravenna. Ouch, but look at that Barb Shrango doing its work. It's a plasma cannon damage. Taking a lot of damage itself though. Is it going to get away here? Because Ogrins are going to... Oh, they're in retreat. Oh wow, they took a lot of damage as well. I'm guessing from the double zone throats. Sentinel might try and, try and chase, but there's a lot of stuff to cover the exit of the Carnifex here. Gets a shot off and kills the, the Ogrins. Holy crap. Can he get one more shot? And if he does, is it going to be enough? I don't think it is. Holy crap. Ranged Tyranids are painful. His zone throws are done a hell of a lot of work. Double Stormtroopers. And we have actually grenade launchers for the speed buff rather than the sniper rifle. There they are doing their thing. Still a, he still a massive threat to the zone throws. And he knows it, backs them off. Try to keep your termigans at the front. Kind of affects lumbers back to base. 252 to 56. It's a manticore on the way for Tex now. Ogrins didn't do a whole lot. Manticore could though. He catches this stuff in a clump and hits those um, Venom Brood models. Gets that Synapse Backlash going. That could be nasty. The Synapse Backlash will do damage to a Carnifix as well. Won't knock it over, obviously. But you get those nice little 10% damage spikes, I believe it is. Decap there from Tektron, desperately to hold on to his VP. Manticore will be hitting the field momentarily. Needs to be very careful, obviously, with the amount of AV that's on the field now for Fear. Just stay in base. Now he's moving it forward quite a way. And there's the shot, there's the first shots. Doesn't do a whole lot there. Really needs to hit those Venom Brood models for it to do anything, I think. 170 to 56. Fear hanging on to the 2 to 1. The double even, I should say. And I think he's got this in the bag. Unless that Manticore gets a really good shot, maybe combined with a Stormtrooper burst and this Sentinel doing stuff. He should be okay. Fun effects is still healing up. Uh, yep. Hasn't even needed it. Since it was last out. Going straight after that Mantagore now. 138 to 56. And down it goes. The double focus warp blast from the zone tropes. Making very short work of it. After they got close enough. Holy crap. Triple cap now for fear. And surely this is it. That's a Basilisk creeping barrage. Just trying to keep that Tyranid blob in check. Lord General forcing melee combat here. Can't tie up zone throats though. So they don't actually have a melee attack, so they just stand there and still shoot. Which is kind of interesting. Not sure if there's anything else in the game that will do that. Almost killed this one. This one got to level 3. This one is level 4. Down goes a sentinel. Yeah. Tex commenting on the regeneration aura from the zone throats there. Would, would have been leveled up once they leveled up themselves. And there it is. Fear takes it with 56 VPs remaining. Left it kind of late. Tex had a really strong opening into early tier 2. But that one engagement where those double zone throws appeared and just wrecked stuff over here. Very difficult to come back from that. Ogrins didn't do much. Doubles Stormtroopers. The right idea, I think. Couldn't quite pull it off. And if he did, if he just got one kill with them, may have given him momentum to come back. But it wasn't to be. Lord General got level 3 at the end with the grenade launchers. Also had the Commissar Retinue member at one point. And the Ravenna Alpha with Crosa Devourer and Synapse Aura. We also saw the Burrow Traps for a little while. Not sure if they actually ever did anything. Probably not. But there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.